What's up, YouTube? So, um, I figured I'd make a quick video on removing permanent marker from games like these. You can do the same on NES, Super Nintendo games as well. Um, it's not impossible to get these permanent marker names off of these. Um, some are a little more difficult than others, especially if they press hard into uh, the plastic with the marker. But you can get them looking just about like this. This one had a name on it previously. I'd say it's 98, 99% removed. There's a little bit of the color, just barely left from the marker, but you can't see the name and you'd really have to look and see if it was there. Uh, anyways, so uh, let's start with one. I'm gonna try, the one I want to really actually clean up is the Donkey Kong Land 2 here. Um, I actually tried this one earlier and didn't get real good luck. They may have pushed real hard with the marker. I'm gonna go on it again here. Um, so what you're gonna need here, first and foremost, bring this over from down here, is you're gonna need some good old rubbing alcohol. The higher the percentage, the better, because um, rubbing alcohol temp typically leaves no residue, but if it's a lower percentage, I believe it means it actually has more, is it oxygen or O2 in it? The hydrogen peroxide, or it's not hydrogen peroxide, rubbing alcohol. Uh, but anyways, I know that the higher the percentage, the better. I'm trying to think actually like on what I'm saying here, but the higher the percentage is the better. You could still do it with 50%, but I know you don't want to use the lower percentages and things like contacts because I believe it has more water uh, content in it, so it has a higher chance of corrosion. I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I know the higher percentage is the better. So anyways, let's get started. So what you're going to need, rubbing alcohol and any old toothbrush. You get these for free usually every time you visit the dentist. <laughs> uh, I have old ones for my electric toothbrush. Um, they're actually kind of small and easy to hold. I don't mind using these. And if I really wanted to, I could attach it to my toothbrush and actually use that. So I don't have to wear my arms out. I don't mind doing it a little bit though because I have a little bit more control. So let's try one here, see how it works. I didn't have the best luck with the first one. The very last one I did came out pretty good as I showed you. So let's try the Donkey Kong Land one here. So let's see if I can hold this down here. So first just get it wet and then quickly scrub it back and forth, left to right. You can probably already see on the thing here some of the actual marker has come up and then just you don't want to press down, but just wipe it left to right. Clean up that. So you can already see it looks a bit better. So I only went left to right. Now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to go up and down. A little more rubbing alcohol on there. I'm not sure if I actually got more. Nope, I didn't. Because the, uh, the more alcohol you have on it, the more it can dilute. You don't want to obviously soak it, but you want to have enough on there to where, you know, it's not just barely getting wet. So, seen this before. No, this one's not coming up as good as the other one. And I dropped my napkin here. Get the towel in. Yeah, I think you pressed pretty hard a couple parts on this here. And then lastly, you kind of want to do circles. I'm going to probably have to get a little aggressive here with the, uh, yeah, it's not going to come completely up. They used the marker and pressed on it pretty hard. Um, the other thing you can use is uh, Mr. Clean's Magic Racers. Those are supposed to work way better, but I believe they are slightly abrasive. I'm not using anything other than plastic, so it's not going to scratch it using a toothbrush which you brush your teeth with, which are calcium. But uh, still way better improvement there on that. I can probably clean this up more. And if I kept doing this probably once a day more often, it would probably come up better. And honestly, if I used a, the electric toothbrush, which does way more than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, um, RPMs here by hand, hand in comparison, it probably would work a little bit better. 
but I'm not looking for perfection on these games because they are definitely used and most of them have not perfect title or not perfect labels on them so some of these are actually dirty like <laughs> dirt coming off some of these and there's like dirt on there for a second on the mat so just wanted to get show you how I clean up some of the games I get uh, before I uh, relist them or put them in my collection. I probably wouldn't keep these in my collection if they had permanent marker on them. If I couldn't get it all completely off. Yeah, those spots where they really pressed down. Uh, I think the kid Michael, who ever owned these before, was really worried about someone taking his games or something because he really pushed hard. But definitely way better condition than when it was started here. Um, this is the one I tried earlier, and that's how it looked after I did a quick run over it. So I'll give it another try and see if I can get it any better than the other one. I really don't think it will, though, because I think this kid Michael used some marker and really pressed with it. And these have been on here probably for like... 20 years, so they probably have gotten into the plastic a bit. I'm just letting it sit there for a second and seeing if I can actually pick any of it up. Yeah, it wants to come up a little bit. And rubbing alcohol is actually pretty good for getting stickers off, too. So if I can't get the name off of this, which I really don't think I can, I think it's really on there hard. I need a Mr. Clean rubbing eraser with my electric toothbrush thing. Yeah, that's in there pretty good. Anyways, if you soak the stickers actually, and you gotta be careful with the rubbing alcohol I should mention, you don't want to get that near your labels because it takes off stickers and your label is essentially a sticker. So keep it away from that. Make sure you don't get rubbing alcohol underneath and set your label on top of it. But anyways, uh, find something here. Da, 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 da. Like a credit card actually works pretty good for pushing up the uh, the uh, labels. I would use this over here, but it's actually not hard plastic. Oh, I can do this with my thumbnail really. But after you let it soak for a while, it should just push off. Now, you can just go back over it. Problem is if you have any stickiness left on these, it actually will take off some of the paper towel and it'll you stuck to the cartridge a little bit, kind of little paper fibers. But anyways, uh, as I was saying earlier, I tried to clean this one already, but that marker is really set in there on this one. Um, it did lighten it. It wouldn't remove it though, because I really think this kid pushed when he pushed the marker on it. Um, but got the label mostly off. I'm not looking for perfection, I'm just looking to improve these. But most of the ones I've had that have had marker on them, I can get them off. It's usually if it's the black marker, if it's got that kind of tinge of reddish you know, hue to them, for some reason it doesn't want to come off on these. But this black one comes off way better than the other one. I don't know how well the camera captured it. You can see actually some pigment into the rubbing alcohol that's on the paper or the padding here. I just use an old UPS shipping thing because if it's all scuffed up and damaged or whatever, I can just replace it because I get them pretty much for free all the time. And uh, try not to be directly leaning over this stuff because. Uh, Kind of like huffing paint fumes, you, you don't want to breathe it in. Make sure you have good ventilation if you're in a small room. Uh, so pay, pay mind to that. Don't 
you know, don't spend too much time doing this if you're doing a lot of them without having a good ventilation or uh, something that filters that out, like a respirator or something like that. Having a hard time with these ones here. I might actually have to get my uh, <laughs> my toothbrush and put the little attachment on here and see how it does. Because it can do definitely faster than I can do by hand here. I'm not going to scratch this, but I'm just kind of curious if this would flake off of here if I push against it. Well, not perfect, but better. I don't want to spend all day on these games either, because most of the Game Boy games I have here aren't perfect labels, like I said, and they're not going probably in my collection or anything. Like Kirby's Dream Land is the only one I was actually like thinking about keeping. And of course, that's the one that's <laughs> got the name I can't get off of it. Oh, well, I'll keep that until I find a better uh, label and swap it. Maybe trade it someone else. Does. Anyways, uh, but yeah. From when we started, way better improvement on these. Uh, three that I cleaned up here. They're not perfect. Again, some of the spots where they pushed hard on the marker. Doesn't come off. But kind of see there. At the top there. Alright, so kind of a long video here. But I just wanted to kind of show you. This is how I usually get rid of the marker on most of the titles. They definitely look better. It's not perfect. It really depends on what kind of marker they're using, how hard they're pushing, as I've said already a few times here. But anyways, folks, thanks for watching. Hope that helps. If you have questions, comments, leave them below. And as always, have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.